Tupac, Enrique Acosta, T-U-P-A-C, E-N-R-I-Q-U-E, A-C-O-S-T-A, Acosta, Enrique Acosta, Tupac. And can you tell me what we're here to, to talk about today? Uh, today is an, uh, an announcement of a series of actions that begin tomorrow in Tucson that will culminate, culminate in a direct action in front of the Arizona Department of Instruction of Education on Friday afternoon at 3 p.m. where the indigenous Mexican communities of Zamanalco and Vizcaloteca will be presenting some, a set of demands and recommendations to the state of Arizona related to the regime of intellectual apartheid that is currently being fomented under the leadership of Superintendent John Huckenthal. Do you guys feel that um, you're under attack by the Department of Education? What we know, it's not a matter of belief, what we know is that there's a schema of racism that pervades the entire policies of the Education Department from curriculum to administration and even designation in terms of student populations. This is an example. This is the schema of categories that describe the racial profiling that is currently policy in the Arizona State Department of Education related to the student populations. And as you can see, there's a designation in this schema that identifies the white pupil population for preferential treatment in contrast and in violation of the equal protection and rights of all students within the state of Arizona. And this is what we're going to be calling to question with our actions starting tomorrow and bringing forth our demands on Friday afternoon. Can you go a little bit over the itinerary of this next few days starting tomorrow? What's going to happen? Who's involved? What are they going to be doing for this last three days? The, the following, the next four days, because after Friday we're going to be in front of the state capitol with the, the fiesta de Mazzawali, but the next four days are a continuation of the expression of indigenous peoples of the hemisphere to have our cultural identity respected, recognized, and protected by the instruments of the state, including educational systems. Tomorrow we'll, we'll begin in Tucson with a series of uh, mobilizations and learning uh, experiences under the auspices of the indigenous University of Abiyayala, which is a continental indigenous institution of higher learning. And there'll be four sessions. It will take place in Tucson, in Marana, on the homelands of Iscaloteca, and arriving at the gate, at the doorway of the State Department of Education on Friday afternoon at 3 p.m. Uh, are all these people walking here? Part of, the run, part of the journey, it's a journey, part of the journey, journey towards justice, it's going to be in the form of a ceremonial run. Some of it will be in the form of a caminata, a walk, a ceremonial walk. But it's all to the purpose of bringing enlightenment, knowledge, cognition, and recognition for our cultural identity as Mexican indigenous peoples, not Latinos or Hispanos. We've been very clear about this. This is an initiative of the indigenous Mexican communities here in the territory, not the Latino, not the Hispanic nomenclatures. We're using our own terminology and identity to bring forward our issues in terms of our needs and our demands and recommendations to the State Department of Education of Arizona. Where, where were the people that participated be sleeping, eating al along the way? We have hosting communities throughout the whole journey, beginning in Tucson, and we'll be traveling in, in that traditional manner across the territory as we have been doing for thousands of years. Yes. Bottom line, what are you demanding again from the, the department? The bottom line is that we are demanding that the Arizona and the State Department of Education integrate into the state curriculum the preliminary study on the impact of the doctrine of discovery on indigenous peoples, a study that has been commissioned and submitted to the United Nations Permanent Forum on Indigenous Issues, and which will be the subject of a forum at the state capitol on September the 23rd. We are demanding, we are demanding that that study be integrated into the curriculum of study and training for all levels of administration in the state of Arizona and this is an essential demand, a fundamental demand, because if you go to the state curriculum now, there's absolutely no mention at all of any kind of instruction or training on the impact of the doctrine of discovery in the state of Arizona. What this tells you is that this is a continuation of the indoctrination that comes about since 1492 and the lie that this continent was discovered by the European Americans and with that discovery brought jurisdiction and domain and do domination. Tell me also more about what will be happening on Saturday, right? 
is that, is that the protest? On Saturday, we're going to be following through and doing our evaluation of the Caminata, the journey of justice at the community level. We are going to be conducting a fiesta of the Masiwali at the level of the community to assess what we have accomplished to that point and take the next steps. The next step will be a forum on the floor of the House of Representatives on the 23rd of March, hosted by the Native American Caucus, where we will bring in the international experts on the issue of the doctrine of discovery and its implications in terms of policy and education and also in terms of uh, services by the state and legal rights for indigenous peoples. Anything else that you want to say um, at this point about what's going to happen in the next few days? This is uh, uh, one of the one of the anticipated uh, events that as indigenous peoples we've been looking forward to accomplishing at this cycle of time. And part of this has to do with the awakening, not only of indigenous peoples of this hemisphere, of this continent, but indigenous peoples of all the continents and all the peoples of the world, including the indigenous peoples of Europe. Our calls are for calls of dignity and self-respect and self-determination. And that's the purpose of our journey of justice, the Caminata, that we are called in Inu in Telamasri, the flesh of Telamasri, the arrow of Telamasri. Perfect. Thank you very much, Tupac. All right.